Hey there, my name is Brett and I go by the Portland Real Estate Cowboy. And today we are gonna to be taking a look at Hillsboro and we're gonna be taking a look at all of Washington County and we're gonna be kind of comparing the two. The data that we're looking at right now is the exit data from October. And so this is October's closed data that we are now looking at in the month of November. So let's just jump straight into the data. All right, the first thing I'm looking at right here is essentially the total months of inventory that both of these locations have. I mean, we can see right here on the Hillsborough side versus over here to the uh, right, which is the Washington County side. Uh, both of these locations are sitting at 1.5 months of inventory, which is pretty low. Um, the next thing I'm looking at here is uh, the total listed units versus the total sold units. And what we can see right here is the total listed in Hillsboro is about um, 1,800 and total sold about 1,600, which is about 89% that um, is being sold in Hillsboro. So if you list in Hillsboro, you have about 89% chance of selling your house. Uh, compare that over here to the Washington County, which is about six or 8,500 sold versus about you know 10,000 listed and they're at about um, 87%. It's actually 86.9%. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're gonna be kind of looking at here is moving on down. The first graph we can see is essentially that inventory graph. We can see that inventory is kind of dropping off in both the Hillsborough side, but also the Washington County side, and they are both sitting at 1.5 months of inventory. Um, the next right here is the average, essentially, uh, listed price versus the average sold price, which we're going to look at a little bit closer soon. But, I mean, you can see that, um, you know, by the deviation between the, the listed here in orange versus the sold here in red, that uh, they are pretty, pretty tightly grouped together, which means, I mean, the house is being listed up here in this Hillsborough, Washington County area are being listed pretty uh, pretty good by the local realtors up there. Um, coming on down here is the days on the market. Uh, it looks like Hillsboro, uh, the inventory is going just a little bit quicker in the Hillsboro area. I mean, right there in October, we are looking at about 27 days on market versus the Washington County area, which is looking like about uh, 35 days on the market for these homes. Here is essentially the graphs of, um, you know, the average listed price, the average sold price, days on the market and all the above. And, you know, what we're seeing right here is for the month of October, Hillsboro, the average listed price was $5.95. Sold price was $5.66, which means that the sellers are only taking about a 5% reduction off of their list price uh, to get these houses sold in this area. Washington County, a little bit even tighter together. Um, the average sold, 610, listed, 627. That's only 3%. So, you know, the sellers up there are only taking off 3% in Washington County, 5% in Hillsboro to get these houses sold. And again, they are selling within about, about 30 days, you know, so I would save about a 5% reduction in price, 30 days on the market, and these houses are selling upwards of 90%. So 90% chance your house will sell within about 30 days for a 5% reduction in the Hillsborough, Washington County area. Again, my name is Brett and I go by the Portland Real Estate Cowboy. And for any of your real estate needs, buying or selling, please reach on out. I would love to be on your side. Bye.